Well, now, Sports Special features the final of the Winmar World Masters Darts Classic, the biggest, one of the biggest, at least, highlights of the darts year. It is between Tony Brown, the Indoor League champion, and a man who comes to the final as something of an outsider, the Northumberland champion, Ronnie Davis. Davis took the first set by two games to one. At the beginning of the second set, Brown starts the action, and Dave Lanning is standing by at the New Royal Horticultural Hall to describe it for you. It is coming in just a few moments. Here it is. Tony Brown had to come from the back against uh, his semi-final opponent, Tony Sontag. He's going to have to do it again here. 60! <laughs> Ronnie Davis got defeated in the quarter-final against the new London star, 60. Colin Baker. Snatched that one out of the fire. Came from uh, a long way back a couple of legs to... Cliff Lazarenko and Tony Brown. 45! He's struggling a bit. <laughs> Ronnie Davis qualified for this Winmo World Master as the Quiz Men's Pairs Champion. Plays in the Newcastle Leagues for Westgate, Hibernian and Jubilee Social Club. 60! <laughs> Tony Brown time uh, ground staff lad at uh, Kent County Cricket Club. Fair left-handed batsman. 40, unlucky to him. Has found tons easier to come by at darts, but not at the moment. He really has not been at all impressive in this first leg of the second set. Davis, a treble, with a lot of it still showing. There's two of them. It's a good last start downstairs, found the trouble, 19. Davis, well... He really is in command at the moment. Troubles. 140! Well, there's the scores at the top there. Davis wants 181, Brown 124. So he is on a tightrope. Eye. And he wanted to kick very score. far. What a brave effort. Ronnie Require 121. 121. 121 then for Davis. He's got 60. He went for 25. And he's got a 10, which is unlucky. And 89 score. Tony Require. So it's two sixteens for Tony yeah. Brown, and he has done it quite beautifully. Second leg, second set, Ronnie Davis throwing first. Game on, please. So the pendulum swings back, and now it is Davis who must take this leg to stay in contact in this second set. Remember, he is one set up. It's the best of three legs, best of three sets. 83! It's been fringing a big title for a long time, Tony Brown. Recent runner-up in the British match play has been a News of the World Grand Final. 40, unlucky to Davis, the Indoor Davis has won an awful lot in the time zone area, Walker singles, the Municipal League singles up there, the Super League title and the CIU clubs title this year. 40, unlucky run. Tony Brown. 
Tony Brown. Most familiar cry in darts from caller Tony Green, 100. Just in the five. 125! Two superb last darts there, just when it looked like you might be in a bit of trouble. Ronnie Davis, he's a find. A real star from the north. Of course, Davis now wants two five three, Brown two six one. Davis has strike. Once again, the turn up boys are in action. Three going in for Ronnie Davis. Oh, that's a five. Eighty-five. Tony require one hundred and sixty-one. Sixty fifty-one. Ball is a shot. We didn't see it in the the match play on ITV, but uh, Tony Brown sadly isn't going to do it for us. And fifty-five score. Ronnie require. 68. 68, well, he could go for 20, triple 20, then with four. But he is an unconventional finisher. He's got 60. He now wants two fours to level up this second set. Yeah! Oh, super finishing again. Second to Ronnie Davis! When he gets a sniff of the double, this man is absolute dynamite. 17 darts only. So we come to the third Drop leg. of liquid third refreshments instead of the old nerves. Tony Brown throwing first. And we come into Game the on, decisive please. leg of this second set and the one that Tony Brown on the hockey now must win to stay in touch with this 78 World Masters title. 140! Gets the almost obligatory piggy to kick off a leg. Davis really has been a tremendous competitor in this tournament. Even when he gets bad luck, he still recovers well, as you can see here. 80. Tony Brown. 134! And it travels to setting a rare pace for Davis to try to match 140, 135 with his first two throws, Brown. Davis is going to reply with... 95! Toby Brown sometimes takes his time to settle, but he's really in the right rhythm now. 180! Here's another maximum. 46 after only nine darts once again in this decisive leg in the second set. Davis, his eyes cool. That one's just hanging on by a mere fraction. 41 points in. Tony scores. 46. So he could go lots of ways. He's got a single 14. He wants two 16s for an 11 dart finish. 14 score. Got a bit of time to play with, though, Tony Brown. Davis wants 225 less these. Two 16s for the set for Tony Brown, and he needs to set, remember. No two eights. Yes! Levels your devils, 
and we are going to have a deciding set which really should be tremendous entertainment. Only 15 darts there for Tony Brown. And, uh, well, which way is it going to go? Ronnie Davis a brave man to prophesy. Best of order, please. Game on. Well, we had 128 international players from 22 different nations started off this Winmo 1978 World Masters Tournament Finals. They all were champions in their own right. 60. We're down to the last two, and we're down to the deciding set. Tony Brown. Absolutely mastery in marksmanship. Davis has absolutely refused to be ruffled. It's his first big time television tournament. And he really has proved to be up to the occasion. Brown, the slight form horse. Trebles are taking a rare old finding now. Sixty. Two hundred and forty so far from Tony Brown in this first leg of the deciding set. They're drawn in there by a magnet. Davis. A comparative unknown. Just captured the imagination of this packed uh, crowd here at the Horticultural Hall. 140! You can see why, too. Just refuses to give in. 121 then for Tony Brown. He'll look now for three 17s just on the wire. And 57 score. Money right now, 141. 141 then for Ronnie Davis. And a variety of ways of going for this. Well, that's three ones, and <laughs> that's uh, not one of them. 63 scored. And 64 score. Last start. Nowhere near what it was intended. 64, he should stick on 16s. He now wants to. 32 score. Ronnie requires 77. 77 going. So he'll go for a big odd treble. It's a single 15. Gonna look for three tens, didn't get it. He wants the ball. 52 scored. And that was lucky because it was in the 25 out of rig. 32. Tony Brown then, ripping. Two sixteens. Could not get any closer. 16 scored. Only required 25. 25 for Davis. Probably will go for single nine, then two eights. That's the single nine. Now two eights. Yeah! And once again, a gloss finish. <laughs> Brian had his chances, but whenever this man gets near that double shot, I, he really takes a bit of stopping. 20 darts he was out there. Second leg, third set. Tony Brown through his boots. Game on, please. the leg that Tony Brown infinitely the more experienced man must win Sixty. Ronnie Davis it would be a considerable surprise if a player came from nowhere to take this world crown the Giants have toppled 
John Lowe has gone. Bristow has gone. Lazarenko is gone. All the 45. top foreign challenge. Conrad Daniels, Nicky Ratchel from the USA. Matt Banovich from Australia have all been toppled. Tony Brown, the last seed remaining. 100! come from Geordie land and shocked them all and a win in this leg and that superb world masters crown 3,000 pound but go back northeast Brown Davis wants 375, Brown wants 241. Davis has the arrows. And he's going to make them count. That's two trebles. One next door at the treble five, 135, though, still very, very effective. At this stage of the game, too, could be crucial and so good luck like that. 40 and look at Davis settling down. He's playing quite beautifully. And he's getting down towards a finish, and we've seen his finishing power. And no wonder Tony Brown looks worried. He's got two trebles, but he's going to come downstairs because he needed the odd one. And that again is a backwing shot from Tony Brown. 140 going for Ronnie Davis. Now we saw him do this in his semi 60 and two double tops. Ronnie used to the Yorkshire board, which have no trebles, so. He likes a double-double shot, but he's not going to do it this time. And 100 score! Gets the time, left and double top. Brown wants 62. 62. Three tens, two sixteens, his shot to stay alive. That's a single. Now he wants two sixteens, yes! and he has got it quite, quite beautifully. He needed it. The pressure was very much on, and he pulled it out of the bag. This is definitely it. The third, the final leg in the final six. And it's Ronnie Davis throwing first. Game on. Well, what a climax. We're into the deciding leg and the deciding set. And it is... Ronnie Davis, first to the hockey. How important will it be to have strike in such an important darts leg? Brian, big battling, such a brave player. I've only got 21 so far. 41! Davis, remember, £3,000 on this leg, to say nothing of perhaps the most coveted title in darts, the World Master. I've just deflected into the travel five. 55! I think the tension is getting through a bit to these players too. Says Brown, he's more used to the big time. Oh dear. Two single fives. 30. Oh. And just look at the crowd. It really is an electric atmosphere. And it's beginning to take its toll. We've seen this so often when there's so much at stake. Davis. Brian, he's 70 adrift, but has the darts. 
60. Davis. In front. And he's a deadly character to allow to get to a double. on Tony Brown. You can see the scores there. He wants 161. Brown 9370. So he's a two time adrift. One hundred. Ronnie Require 161. 60-51 for what a way to win the world crown. If he can do it. Ronnie Davis. 161. Here's a single 20. Something very, very special. 60! Yeah. required. 61! 61 for the world crown. Which way will Davis go? Single 25, double 18, perhaps. He has got the 25, he wants two 18s for the title. 25. Oh, the tension. You could absolutely put your fingers out and touch it there. Brown wants 2-1-0. Davis wants 2 18. So still, it looks like the outsider is going to take this crown. But anything can happen in darts. 60. What do you require? 36. For the world crown. Ronnie Davis, they're telling him to take his time in a raw, raw Geordie accent. We have a new world master. He is from England, he is from Newcastle, and he has come from nowhere to do it. Ronnie Davis, 36-year-old Northumberland player that nobody, hardly anybody had heard about before today, is now the official number one in world darts. And my word, didn't he do it with player, style and tremendous skill. So a real upset there, all the top seeds vanquished a victory to the man from Newcastle. He will win, of course, the trophy. He'll win a cheque for £3,001, and he'll also be invited to play in the World Professional Championships in February. And I imagine there'll be a few pints of brown sunk in Newcastle tonight. Well, now, next week in Sports Special, the Davis Cup with the Great Britain in the final for the first time in 41 years. These are the young men who carry our hopes. There we are, the Lloyd brothers, David and John, in between them, Mark Cox, and on the right-hand side, Buster Mottram. Indeed, ITV's exclusive coverage of the challenge round against the United States starts on Friday evening with the first singles. You'll see the second singles on Saturday afternoon. We'll have the doubles later on Saturday evening. And then the climax of the whole tie, the remaining singles, on Sunday evening.